Uh, my, the worries that I have comes uh, with two things on the defensive side of the ball, though we return a lot of starters. We do return a lot of starters. We did lose a few guys uh, in the offseason to transfer. Mike Jones Jr., he transferred out to LSU. Don't know why the heck he did that, but, you know, if he feels like uh, um, Aaron Orson Robinson's got it going on, I mean, I guess he does. But, Pretty good. Uh, but, uh, um, but uh, you know, Niles Pinckney's uh, transferring out. We've got a lot of talent coming back. Justin Foster retired, unfortunately, because of some health issues. Justin Foster, I mean, this guy, if he'd have stayed healthy, he'd have played on Sundays. I know Xavier Thomas, after his first season, even before the whole thing that went on, notice I don't even like to say the things that went on last year. I just kind of eh, kind of glass over it. Uh, he was having health issues even before then. Uh, so if we can get uh, Xavier Thomas back, I would like to see it for him personally. It's just not a thing of Clemson, and I want Clemson to be good because we've got a, an amazing defensive line. I mean, it's just ridiculous. We have guys who's either A, transferred out or graduated or retired, and it, we're still loaded at defensive line. I want to see this for him personally. When you see a guy come out in the first year like Xavier Thomas did, and he absolutely beat the crap out of everybody, and he looked like Superman, and then you see the decline, whether it was mentally, physically, a combination of both, there's a part of you that, and, and I'm a dad. I mean, I have two kids, uh, and their dad, and their names are not Bobby Durkins Jr. and Bobby Durkins Jr. Jr. But uh, you know, I, I look at them as if it was them, man. I would be sitting there like grieving almost at a point. You're an amazing athlete with a lot of potential. I just hope you can come back to that uh, because Xavier Thomas is just a freak of nature. I think one of the best defensive lineman, one of the best athletes ever walked through the doors of Clemson, so I hope he gets together. But everybody knows about the window dressing and, and everything else that we have, the per se, the Miles Murphy. The, I mean, you just keep naming down it. It's like a 12 disciples of, of, of defensive line, and they dress up in orange and white, and they play for us. Uh, Skowski coming back. Uh, a lot of people give Skowski a bad name. Oh, he got thrown out of this game. He got thrown out of that. This is the guy I was going to hit on. As you were going through the defense, I thought if Brian doesn't bring up James Skalski because he has become, at least based on the feedback that comes back to me, almost the most hated guy in college football. Okay, so I don't know the guy personally. I don't know him personally. For, so for all I know, he's, you know, awful guy. But I've heard from a lot of different sources. The guy's just a good guy. He's an old school football player playing new school ball. And I think that if anybody paid attention to after the Ohio State game, he actually went and checked on Justin Fields and said, no, man, I was not trying to. And, and here's the other thing, and I've ranted raved about this one. You might have to cut me off on this one. But the rules are the rules. I do believe in the rules. I'm a, I'm a rules guy. I believe in the rules. A lot of people don't know this. I actually officiated basketball for 11 years as a high school official. And actually, and it's actually this has been a while back. I was actually scouted to uh, officiate college basketball. Um, a lot of people don't know that about me. And I just stopped because I didn't want to be on the road all the time. You know, I actually like knowing my wife and my children. It's kind of a thing. Uh, but uh, I believe in the rules. And I believe that the rules protect players. It protects the integrity of the game. The problem that I have is not really with the rules. It's that we have the ability to slow down frame by frame every move that goes on in college football, NFL, uh, parakeet league, lacrosse, I mean, anything. I mean, my God, we have politicians who will dice up comments made by, by other comments, uh, by other politicians and play it and just run that same line over and over and out of context. We get into a heap of trouble with that. And a lot of people are gullible. So for me, whether you're an Ohio State player, you're an Alabama player, Clemson, fill in the blanks, I would say Michigan, but they suck. If you put them in, if you slow down everything, to what I like to call the speed of smell. And that goes back to one of my favorite comedians, God rest his soul, uh, Tim Wilson, the speed of smell. 
um, if if you slow it down, you and I could stop right now and go, I'll tell you what I'd do right now. I can't believe that. If you speed it up real time, majority of us would make a hit like that. Uh, the, the majority of the time we're celebrating because, oh, so-and-so got kicked out of the game until it happens to your player. But if you speed it up, the majority of the time, it's a bang-bang play. It's no big deal. Uh, Skowski, and you know what? Here's the thing. I hope Skowski never sees this. hope his family doesn't see this. I'm not picking on him. I'm no male model here. You know, Skowski looks like a weird guy. I mean, he is a different looking guy. Kind of got the whole, I don't know what's going on with his eyebrows. God help him. Got the neck roll. Yeah, he's got the neck roll going on. So he looks like your textbook bad guy. But I don't believe that the guy is, is a headhunter. And I don't believe that Sweeney would put up with it either. Um, because I don't hang on. Even though I love Sweeney, I believe in Sweeney. I believe he's a good man. I believe that he and I share a lot of the same values. Um, just like my dad. I love my dad. But me and my dad have disagreements. I disagree with stuff and he disagrees with me. Um, of course, I hold my dad in higher likes than Sweeney because Sweeney's a coach of football team and I don't know him. But I'm just giving an example there is you can respect someone, hold them in, in, in a sense of you respect their integrity and still disagree with them at certain times. And a little, I, I'll get onto that a little bit here in just a second because I know I'm going to further piss off some more clips and fans with a few things I'll say about it. But I don't think he would put up with that. Uh, if he felt like someone was headhunting up there. 